$1 billion in the previous month of August. Let's head to the Senate where the Health Committee has questioned the National Health Insurance Fund Management and KMPDC on their mandate to regulate hospitals. This is in regards to the NHIF scandal where eight hospitals allegedly paid fraudulently by the National Health Insurer. Beldin Waleola followed the committee's proceedings for this report. Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Council, NHIF CEO, and some of the representatives of the eight hospitals implicated in the NHIF scandal appeared before the Senate Health Committee led by Jackson Mandago. They defended themselves against accusations leveled against them. Afia Bora, CEO, defended his facility on the accusation of not meeting the level four threshold. We wish to state that the allegations that many surgeries were done in a single day with one surgeon are false. Our hospital is well equipped level 4 hospital with two modern theaters. St. Peter's orthopedic CEO was also on a defensive mode after being accused of doing surgeries that were not necessary and influencing demand. The senators also questioned the criteria used to suspend the hospitals. A patient is admitted medical care should be given and the systems your systems will only be activated on monday how can these medical practitioners be able to account for the services they have rendered when your systems cannot be logged in because i read a lot of collusion here is nhif punishing the facilities because of not complying and i know you understand what that means in kenyan language uh, that we need to refund 14 million because we did surgeries um, that the dates of admission and discharge differs from the records. I think that's being unfair to us because we actually did these surgeries. The surgeries were done. The services were offered. NHIF on its side says they had already started an investigation on 27 hospitals, including the eight hospitals accused of fraudulently receiving NHIF funds frequently for services not rendered. What you are looking at today, Honorable Chair and members, are questions whether procedures were medically necessary. And we are relying on the NHIF audit department to tell us whether they were necessary. Our view as an association is that with due respect to the audit department, so the audit department is not able to answer that question. That indeed, collu I mean, there was collusion between NHIF employees and fraudsters for this fraud of this magnitude to happen. And what NHIF did, some of which was in the media, was to take disciplinary action on a number of employees. KMPDC, on the other hand, said it could not give a comprehensive report on the ongoing probe since NHIF failed to share its report with them. Out of the accused eight hospitals, six have already received their operating license back. The hospitals include Jekim Medical Center, Amal Hospital, Afyabora, Jekim Hospital, Nkubu, Afyabora Annex, St. Peter's Orthopedic, with Joy Nursing and Maternity Hospital, and Beirut Pharmacy still on suspension. Um, as we've said, the council had not yet received the official report, but the council will take up any findings and take action in line with its mandate. Where there is uh, culpability, the council will take action. What is happening? Why, why didn't you respond to KMB DC so they're able to discharge their mandate? Honorable Chair, our culture is to respond to all inquiries and communication within the shortest time possible. The letter in question has not yet come to my attention or to my office. Belden Waliaula, KTN News. The report of the National Dialogue Committee.